Right guys, welcome back to the latest episode. Today we are at Chris's at All Square Racing Road at his workshop, ready to get the focus set up. Um, we've just got a little bit of a drive, about to fit the road wheels back on. And we did cut the trailer with the six, so that's a bit of an issue. So we we'll just get this unloaded, get them in the shop, start getting it set up, and then I'll catch you guys with it. So we've got it in the workshop, Chris's all square racing road workshop, looking very nice. Unfortunately, two posters broken today. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old school way on the floor. Chris loves it on the floor, don't you, Chris? Right on the floor. Loves it on the floor. Uh, obviously, we've got to swap the wheels back over and put the slicks on. Um, but whilst we're doing it, Chris is going to take loads of measurements to start off with, uh, take the anti roll bars off, um, do some swaps, and then get it on the tables and do some more measuring. Lots of measuring. Lots of measuring. <laughs> yeah, all the time is spent measuring. Two hours of measuring. Then we start playing with more of these. <laughs> yeah. So we'll crack on, get the wheels on, get some measurements done and I'll catch you in a bit. We're just setting the ride height of the car. First thing you always do is set the tyre pressures, get the driver's weight in the driver's seats and make sure you've got correct fuel load. Then you can start setting the car up. Always do the ride height first because the angles and the alignment changes when you lower and raise the car. So the front ride height's good. The car was a little bit flat, no rake in it. So we've just raised the rear ride height a bit to give it some rake, and then we can start doing the alignment in a minute. Ride height's done. It's much better now. Good rake in the car. Camber's already maxed out. Quite a lot when you're converting regular road cars. They're kind of camber limited. So we're just under three degrees. There's no more, we can't do anything about it. But it's not a bad starting point to give Steph a baseline. So now, uh, just doing the toe, setting the front or setting the front toe. The rear's fixed. There's no adjustment on the rear at the moment. So when you're doing the string line way, you just, you just get your string set up, centered up. It won't bore your hell because it'll take a while. And just simply to measure the toe in millimeters on each wheel. Measure from the wheel to the string at the rear. This one's saying 36 and a half mil. Measure the wheel to the string at the front. That's saying 43 and a half mil. So the difference there, is seven mil. So at the moment we've got seven mil of toe in. So I need to shorten the track rod just to give us a little bit of toe out. All right, guys, so we've got it up on the scales. to we'll do the corner weighting. So Chris has got a really, really big job to do this afternoon because this is miles out. It's a shitter, isn't it? Absolute shitter. Yeah. So what we're we saying, Chris, how uh, far out are we? Where we are across the car diagonally, two kilos. <laughs> I haven't even touched it. <laughs> it's just as the shocks went on, as as they come, well, factory fitted, we've obviously messed around with the ride light and setting the droop at the rear. Yeah. And then with all the alignment we've done on it, the car is 2.3 kilos across it diagonally. Beautiful. Uh, that's pretty mental. So uh, it's quite a nicely balanced chassis, actually. You find yeah. some that are like massively heavy one side. The engine and box on this is actually fairly central. It's normal bit of a giveaway with a car, right hand drive car, you normally find on front wheel drive cars the engine sits a long way over and you tend to find them really, really right heavy. As yeah. this one is, because obviously you've got driver's weight in it, but the actual car is quite well balanced. I mean, I haven't got two kilos and I'm going to touch it. No, exactly. <laughs> There's no point wasting any time trying to really good. manage out two kilos. That's pretty much bang on, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much the best we're going to get anyway. We're really. as aggressive as we can on it, so the cam is yeah. maxed out. Obviously we've got no adjustment on the rear. On no. the rear end at all. Although the cam is really quite good, yeah. what we could do is losing some toe. It's far too much toe, so it's going to generate too much side bite on the rear. Yeah. Um, but we've gone as aggressive as we can on on, on front toe, especially. There's still a bit more rake that can happen. Yeah. But as for Steph to decide when he drives it, what he wants yeah. out of it. But upgrade number one, rear toe links. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we're running. Is it three and a half mil toe yeah, in on the rear? Each side, yeah. Yeah. So three and a half toe toe in on each side, which obviously. For you guys that don't know, when we go into a corner, that's just going to try and push the front onwards, so we're going to get understeer. Um, unfortunately, as I said before, the, the budget hasn't been in there this year to sort that out, so we're running everything standard at the back, so there's nothing Chris can do just here. Right height, that's it. All, yeah. we, all we can do is ride height, that's it. Nothing exactly, it's just jack it up as hard as we can, but it is, it's, a, it's a good setup where it is now. We need to go to the track really and test it and then do it now, so I mean, stiffen the granny out of it and everything to try and 
get as much off the back as we can, but until we get onto the track and uh, see how it really goes, we don't know. But that'll be the first upgrade. Obviously, some adjustable toe arms, and then maybe um, try and get some more camera out the front. Yeah, I think those two things, just the shocks you've got are brilliant. Though. You've got everything you'll ever need on them. Yeah. So I think that the two biggest things from, from a handling perspective, you almost certainly want to have some more front camera on it. Yeah. And you definitely want to get some of that retail out of it. Yeah. After that, to be fair, it'll be really quite tunable. Really yeah. Good. Exactly, and as we thought, it's a heavy girl. <laughs> yeah. Was without me in it. Was it 13, 13 27. 27. So yeah, 1.3 ton. <laughs> it's a heavy beast. This thing. Oh, we left your wallet in there. A little, oh yeah. Let's take Steph's wallet out. It's 300 kilos in there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. It's not. Not after building this. It's yeah. not. <laughs> um, but again, on the weight side of things, as I said before, we're just getting it out, getting it out to a track. Let's get racing. And then I can worry about fanning it and all, all that stuff later on. I say the doors are so heavy because it's still got the windows in and the window motors and all that lot on. They, they weigh an absolute ton. All the Sub glass is still in. Subwoofer's still in there. Subwoofer's still in the back. Neons are still underneath. Um, so yeah, there's loads we can do to shed weight, which which will be progress for next year. But for the moment, we'll get it to the track. I mean, it's still got a washer bottle in with washer fluid in. Uh, it's, it's pretty much a, a fast road car with. with, yeah. with Motorsport UK legal bits fit into their racing, isn't it? Really? Exactly. So it's still it's road legal start, till October, so I have to keep these bits in it. And then after that, I don't think it'll get an MOT. So. It's a good start. Yeah. It's, it's something to go racing with, uh, see how it goes, and then you know what to make more reliable and what to upgrade next. We've got to just put the anti roll bar link back on, yep. set that so there's no binding in the bar, no torque in the bar. Uh, spanner check a few bits we've done, and that's it. Yeah. And then unfortunately, we've got to put the road wheels back on to put it on the damn trailer. Also, I just want to say a massive thank you to Chris from All Square Race and Road for helping us out with the car and the alignment. Uh, he's been with us for years now. Fantastic guy, knows exactly what he's doing with the car. So if you need any help, you need any setup, you need anything else. Just if you want to pick my brains, give me a yeah. shout. Advice is free, so I'm more than happy to help out. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got our workshop now. It, it's new to us. We're still doing things to it. We've got a two-poster that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, typically yeah, got, it breaks a lot. Yeah. It packs up on a Friday, but we'll get that fixed. But yeah, no, we, we've got more of a workshop set up here now. We've got all the tools here. So uh, yeah, we're still doing limited mobile work and we're doing stuff out of here. And also there's some other stuff coming soon. So probably in the next month or so, just keep an eye on the socials and yep. there's more things coming to help make more people faster. Exactly. So yes. So if you're interested in that, make sure you drop Chris a message and uh, yeah, we'll crack on, get this loaded up, get home and we'll start putting the stickers and livery on. So I'll see you there. All right guys, so we're back from Chris's. This is actually a few days later now. Nick's here, say hi Nick. Hi Nick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did off camera start putting some of the livery I was planning to do on it. I'm not going to mix my words, it looks shit. So <laughs> it, it all comes straight back off. I got some of it, yeah, it's a bit over here, bear with me a second. <laughs> you go through the garage, <laughs> love it. Yeah, that's the pink they sent me. I don't know how it shows in the camera, but it's extreme Barbie pink, and that's not what I was after. That is, yes, it is. That is the wrong it's pink to me. You are a Barbie princess. No, that is the complete wrong pink, and it looked terrible in the car, so that'll come off. Um, but we've got a delivery. Is that you? From Uncle Luke's for all the stickers and stuff, so that's what we're going to attack tonight. Massive thanks to Uncle Luke's for sorting those stickers out for us. I did change the order last minute and hopefully he's pulled through. I haven't double checked yet, but I'm sure he has. Um, so, yeah, so we get them slapped on and then we'll do the, the reveal of it afterwards. Okay, Nick Nick on the uh, the old cam now because. Uh, Nick on the mic. Nick on the mic. Steph's sticking himself to the side of the car. So, what we got? Look at this. Ooh. Sticky, sticky goodness. White Club Racing UK ones. The most yep. important ones, obviously. Obviously. Where are they going? Down the side. Down the side. Obviously. obviously. Cool. Well, we'll start mocking these up and putting them on. More stuff up there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And you're running, yeah. well, no, you're running number 43 this weekend, aren't you? Yeah, I could cut the one off. So you're going to be, you're going to be 143? when you are racing normally? Well, it just depends. I'm, I'm class is 143, but I did ask for 43 because that's the number I, just my number. Because you're Ken Block. I'm secretly Ken Block, yeah. Secret. Um, but the guy that has 43 isn't racing this weekend, so I can have 43. Woohoo! Um, so I just have to get the ones with us, and whenever he turns up, stick the one back on. Well, you could be, actually. We could use the pink that you showed us, which is over there. Yeah. And you could just be Ken. 
fuck could be. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. That was good. Uh, <laughs> I need one of those sun strips. It's got Ken and Barbie. Let's do that, shall we? <laughs> I, I might order one for you. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be fantastic. So we're just brainstorming really at the moment. Just, just trying to figure out where he wants everything. Product placement is key. And remember, obviously, if you guys want to get your name on the car, hit us up. You fancy sponsoring us? We've got some fantastic companies on board. Look at these guys. PBS, All Square Racing Road, Silver Lake. So a huge shout out to these guys who have supported us all year round. RAC air conditioning, marketing delivery, dark side developments as well. Uncle Luke's, just fantastic. But yeah, as you can see, Steph's, Steph's got so much room on his race car, there's plenty more room for sponsors. <laughs> it's a big car. It's a big old, it is a big old car, isn't it? We'll be getting a job with Uncle Luke soon. Rapper, <laughs> rapper, sticker extraordinaire. I'm probably doing everything completely wrong. Be interesting to see what they say about the water spray because I have heard that's uh, a no no. But I've seen how good I can make it look without water spray. And well, I was just saying a minute ago when I'm doing the livery on the Vectra, I uh, cocked up a fair few stickers myself because I didn't use water spray. Um, the only thing I used spray for was the uh, the windshield. But... So last few ones going on now. What's going on here? What's going on here? Number, window number. The what? Exactly. So this one here was getting fed up and he wanted, he, he's bored now. How long are we doing this? A fair few hours now. But I'm starting to push on. The last few to do now. Last few. I'm not going to ruin it all by. Uh, we have to wait for the livery reveal when we turn up at Brands Hatch on Saturday, Sunday. Oh. Oh. oh, they do look good. I'll give you that. The, 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 the names and numbers. Oh, yeah. Right, guys, we just finished putting all the stickers on and stuff. Uh, Taking out for a quick spin. Everything's absolutely as it should be, which is absolutely great. Um, but we'll see what happens with the track because the track's a completely different beast. But right, we get this loaded up, we'll head to Brands Hatch and we'll reveal what the car looks like. See you there. Right, guys, we've made it to Brands Hatch. Let's have a look around the car. Alright guys, so that's a look at the car. I hope you like it. Drop in the comments below what you think of it. Alright, so that's it for this one guys. So if you want to keep up to date with everything we're getting up to and you want to make sure you follow the next video to see how we get on with qualifying and racing the modified Ford series at Brands Hatcham in Ford Power Live, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!